This film is about the approach we take to biology across the 21st century science suite through the GCSE science additional and separate science courses. Module B1, you and your genes, and B5, growth and development, have very strong conceptual links. B1 introduces enough uh, understanding of genetics for you to make sense of uh, issues about genetic technology that might be in the news and which might affect you personally. And B5 develops the more conceptual scientific understanding, uh, for example, of cell cycle, meiosis and mitosis. Module B3, Life on Earth, introduces students to communication systems, nervous and hormonal communication. And B6, Brain, on, brain and Mind, further develops our understanding of nervous systems. The lesson that we're going to do today is from B6, Brain and Mind, and it's, I think it's lesson six, which is to do with drugs and synapses. Okay, so basically, synapses are when you have like one nerve cell, and you have another nerve cell, and it's a gap in between. So it helps you pass a response from one nerve to another. So if you were thinking about that topic in the old specification, that would have been very much like, these are drugs, this is how they work, this is a synapse, this is how it works, and then you would do some questions based on that to you know, make sure that those students understood. Now, the students need to know basically how synapses work and how drugs affect synapses. Um, however, because we are doing the 21st century science and they have to incorporate the how science work aspect, what I've tried to do is incorporate how drugs are represented in the media and how basically when you do see articles about drugs, um, they're actually missing a lot of the scientific content. By the end of the lesson, the students, I'm going to ask them to compare ecstasy to Prozac and why Prozac being a prescribed drug is looked in a particular way and ecstasy, which is not prescribed, is looked upon a different way, even though both have very similar effects. Uh, module B7 draws together students' understanding of genetics through the context of sickle cell and natural selection. And in general, you might say that conceptual understanding moves from biology in everyday life through to more theoretical concepts, through to an overview of interactions between living organisms in B7. In the GCSE science course we're focusing on the understanding an individual would need to have to make sense of biology as they meet, might meet it in everyday life. Uh, additional science develops uh, their understanding of science explanations to a greater degree, providing for post-16 study. And in B7 we try to draw out patterns that students will have touched on in the previous modules so that they have an understanding of interactions between organisms on a micro and a macro scale. In the additional science we deliberately chose to focus on a few concepts which are fundamental if you want to go on and study biology uh, post-16. Students who do the B GCSE Biology Separate Science course cover B1 to B3 from GCSE Science and B4 to B6 from Additional Science. And they also do a final maxi module, B7, which draws together some of the patterns of biology that students will have touched on in the first six modules. Uh, what we're trying to do is to get students to appreciate the interaction between living organisms and environment on both a micro and a macro scale which is important to them as they move forward to AS biology. Uh, the storyline of each module is outlined in the module map, which is in the overview of the teacher's guide. Uh, this is interesting because it not only does it make links between, for example, biology modules and the science explanations, but it also shows how ideas about science within the biology modules are, uh, appear in chemistry and physics modules. So you can see if, for example, you operate a rotating curriculum um, where teachers and other subject specialisms will be working with students on ideas about science. So although ideas about science don't feature so prominently in the additional science course B4 to B6 or in B7, there are plenty of opportunities in those modules for students to um, look at ideas about science one, data and its limitations as they're judging the quality of the data that they generate.